What is up guys and welcome back to episode number 10 of the journey with club number 3 here in Verona and today we have two big games. We have our first game which is our local derby against Verona and then we take on the Nipro in the Europa League. Now there's a bit of, of explaining to do. Okay, I have a bit of explaining to do. Originally this these weren't the two fixtures I picked. Okay, these weren't. But as we go into our fixture list, the original two I was gonna play were the two Dnipro games which I discussed in the last episode. So we played the first Dnipro game. Was we fine, but it was recording, everything grand. And then I went to play these two games, Paramount Capri off camera. And then all of a sudden the recording crashed. And whatever the the recording software shut down all this and so I was like okay and then I went to retrieve it I put the clip back into the recording and it wasn't there usually if it shuts down it's like oh well such and such such went wrong last time would you like to retrieve your such and such data blah 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 folder whatever it's whatever it is and I couldn't retrieve it so I apologise for that. I had to start off these two games. Hopefully the same thing doesn't happen again. If it does, you won't know I'm saying this anyway. So, yeah. Let's just hope, yeah. yeah. So, Ray. Um, we've got a few games to run through. Um, I can't even remember where I left off. I was against Cecilia, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was against Cecilia. So, there we went down. As Cecilia got beaten 3-0 against Juventus. Yeah, it's just look. The, we've had a bit of bad, bad start to the season, you know. Um, we then played Leicester, where we drew one all. That was our first game in the Europa League. We absolutely dominated that whole game. I was still disappointed that we only got one all over. Then we played Spezia Calcio, and uh, we lost two one. Like, see that ninety plus two. This really pissed me off. It was the ninety first minute, forty seven, forty sixth second to be precise. And it was just one big hoof up the pitch, and I was looking, I was like, no, no, no. Right by the defence, and then whatever his name is, Lamello, came in and just buried it. And I was fairly pissed off, and I almost didn't have a computer to record on. Then we went on to Bologna, where uh, it was the most boring match of my life, and we drew nil all. We then went to Genoa and got our first win of the season. This is how they Five games to our first win of the season. Unbelievable. But we, we won 2 1. Dusan Vlahovic with the two goals. And it was a good game. We should have had more, I think. We then played our second Europa League game. My apologies. And an early goal from Suso really set up the match to be a great one. But uh, nothing really happened then after that goal. Nothing whatsoever. It was a shit match. Absolute shit. They got man sent off in the 87 minute. That's about it. But then we played AC Milan, the team we beat 1-0 in the Super Coppa Italiana final. <clears throat> and yes, I did just look at the top of my screen and read that. Uh, <laughs> and we drew one all, which is very lucky for us because we should have absolutely got hammered. But I'll take a one all. I'll take a one all. And first even the score for us was a shock. Then we went on to play Roma and this was the game I really, really wanted to win. Really wanted to win. And Dusan Vlahovic got a penalty in the 69th minute. Inigo Martinez got sent off for the foul he committed. And we converted it and were able to hold on for the rest of the game. That was the game, obviously, I wanted to win because we haven't lost against Rome yet in, um, in our Kiev of Verona career. Then we played the first leg, or the first game, against the Nipro. Uh, Valverde scored an absolute cracking free kick. Them getting a man sent off the 78th minute dominated the game and it should have been much more now i've changed things a little bit and i'll show you why now parma uh we played that uh, two games ago absolutely like dominated the whole game battered them three now it says yeah yeah sane got an og but their goalkeeper is herrero or something like that and i think he did get the og because he cut the ball and they kind of fell into the net with it so i, I don't know but then in the last game we played Carpi, Car I'm going to just say Carpi son, Capri son, and um, 
absolute brilliant game. Biani Polsi um, with two goals and David Pasquale with a goal in front of himself. Let's have a quick look at the league table. We're currently ninth. Um, so we're on a we're on a good headway. If we win today, you know we could we could make a little bit of headway in the league. And don't worry, Champions League is still an option for us. Uh, and in the, the Europa League, we are currently lying forced in the table with seven points. Oh, yeah, our second. So we we really need to win our second leg against the Nipro. But let's uh, get into the team selection. And I'll just show you what I changed really quick. It's not major. It's really not major at all. I've just done this really. Um, I felt that uh, because because of the quality of player that I had, this is something I've done previously previously before, and it's never really worked out. But I think that's because who I've done it with, um, the players are shit, really. <laughs> but right, so Diakite is the box to box midfielder, as we know, and we've left Valverde a deep line playmaker, but we've changed Coughlin to a ball with a midfielder. Simply because it's his most favourite position. And I don't feel that I might have been getting enough out of him. Uh, to justify his place in the squad. But. To give him another chance of changing to his best position. Um, then. If you look here. Paulsy. He's come in. Because Suso's playing shit. And he's in as an uh, advanced playmaker. Um, that's his best position. And he's after like. If, well he hasn't got as many goals obviously but he scored two in the last game and that that's enough improvement for me if you ask me because like you have to give this tactic time like to change itself you know and one sec need a sneeze one sec one sec Whew. Ah, i thought i'd just cut that bit off his but yeah i just maybe i'll be get i'll, I'll get leaving a little bit more um during the season um if i give him his best position um who else who else who else that's all really but as you can see here the instructions are completely changed as well well not completely changed but there's less instructions um i, I left a comment on loki doki's video last night because he has actually done this as well and it's just it's just asking an opinion of do you think that players of a better quality Need like need less or sure or prefer to have less instructions simply so the the better quality comes out on the pitch, um and players obviously of a lesser quality need more instructions to get their better quality out on the pitch. Because uh, I realize the, the players that I've bought this season they, they are unbelievable and I know that for the fact they are very good players. But I haven't been able to get 100% out of them. I haven't been able to get that 100% ability out of them. So my thinking was. Well if I swamped them. With too many instructions. Like. They're not going to play football. They're just going to play. Like how do you say. A role obviously. Everyone plays a role on the pitch. But I want them to play the best in that role. Where I felt. <coughs> that I was restricting them. Because I had so many instructions, so I've cut them back, and if it's if it's proven in the last few games that we are performing much better now with less instructions. Um, there's a fellow I'm going to bring in today, Nicola Volpi. This is the Brit the dude we brought on loan. I'm going to bring him in today for Svensson. Or am I? I don't know if I am actually. No, I'm not. I'm not that that was a stupid decision. What am I doing? Not in a derby. Not on derby day. Um, I am bringing, uh, will I bring Doosan on? Um, let's see Doosan. Doosan Vlahovic. He's only 22 and Mihov is... See, Mihov... Hmm. 21, that... The age doesn't really matter. But I just want to see who plays is better. As a deep line forward. No one. Maybe they're about the same. But we play Vlahovic anyway. We play Vlahovic and uh, see so here we go. The squad, uh, I know, is it is very big. Obviously, being in Italy, no one's gonna think it's big, like simply because uh, uh, look, you have twelve substitutes. That is a big squad. Like if you think about it, this is our cut-off point. 
so from seventh from seventh all the way down is our players that we do not need really well not that we don't need them of course we need them right anyway let's bullshit talk into the game now into the game into the game into the game now into the game into the game into the game now uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, you will be looking to win. Yeah, we are favourites. Uh, we are Verona in the league. Oh, the bottom of the table, about ten points ahead of them. Um, the near it's Derby Day. Uh, it's always a tremendous occasion. Yeah, Chesney. Yeah, Chesney's actually gone on a good little spree now of without league conceding a goal. So hopefully he can do that again today. Um. <coughs> Clear the throat. This is a big game. This is like, oh my God, it's a first, not a first derby, but oh, would it be a first? I don't know. I don't even know who. Our, um, I don't even know who our rivals are. To be honest, I know Verona are of course because we're Chievo Verona and they're Hellas Verona or something like that. But uh, yeah, so I know that. I know that they're but they went in the league last year, and it's off. We've offered um. Kaleta a new contract at the club he's, he's not for much of a pay rise but it's, he's he's going to be worth like I think his buyout clause now or minimum fee release clause is 21.5 million in his new contract it's only 11 million or something like that now so I'd, I think I'd be happy to get 21 odd oh, 21 odd million for him uh, because, well, I would like more. I try to put it up to thirty, but uh, he's like my agent doesn't value me at that. He's like, well, tell your agent to go. Ah, fuck off. Bro, I'm making a move here. Oh, Chesney catches. So one shot a piece in the derby. That's in eight minutes. Yeah, with fifty six percent possession, our passes. I think it would be our passes as well. Of kind of oh. Batella off and Valverde with a crack of free kick. Um, I think our pass completion has kind of dropped since uh, since changing things around a bit. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I haven't really looked at it much. It is something I will keep an eye on from now on because this guy's really like we've, we've had 500 passes and all, and oh, it's been unbelievable. As well, our long shots have kind of been cut out. Uh, I say that just after we've had a long shot, uh, but they've kind of been cut out. Um, we're, we're starting to walk the ball. Oh, what a goal by Diakite. It's first goal of the season. It's hard to think, but yeah, I feel um, we're starting to walk that ball, walk the ball into the box a little bit more now. Although we don't have it on as an instruction, the players are using their own ability to do it, basically. This is what, this is what I was talking about. A player of a worse, worse quality isn't going to obviously have the ability to just be able to play, like, walk the ball into the box by his own initiative. He'll need to be instructed to do it, if you get what I mean, if that makes any sense. If it makes sense, I don't know if it does. It sounds better than my head. So there's the first goal in the derby. We should we should hammer these in fairness. Absolutely thump them. The Akita. Run through the middle. Valverde. Pulse. Pasquale. Across the box and there's Vlahovic. Bada boom. Sixth goal of the season. The poacher gets the assist. Pasquale. And here we go. He runs straight to the byline. Oh, it's had to cut the pause on itself there. Run to the boy line. Right across from post. Lavich there to tap it in. <coughs> Let's have a look where we gone up to the table. Um, four, four, four. Oh, what the hell? It, so I think we're seventh in the table, I think. I can't see. Yeah, we're going up to seventh in the table. If Hopefully if we can score another one or two. Oh, good save by the keeper. If we can score another one or two, um, hopefully we'll be able to pull it up ahead of Palermo. 
course, goal difference and all that good stuff is a uh, what oh, Valverde? What was that? Is it is it is key? I'm sorry if I get this in the way, guys. Just, just want to have a quick look at goal difference. Very right, so. Oh, we need to score three more goals um, for us to climb ahead of them. So I doubt that'll happen. But look, it's ten minutes to go until half time. And you never know what'll happen. Oh, good save by the keeper. Good save, ball whipped in. It was first Cochrane, Pulsey, and it's another corner. Oh, I had the sniffles. I think I'm getting a cold. Oh, but tell it. We've had ten shots, seven on target, three off target, one clear cut chance, one half. Oh, we can see the goal. No, no, no one can see goals. No bullshit. Oh, Valverde, the key thing. In the Pulse, Svensson, Valverde, the key thing. Paul Pascal, Cochran, the key thing. There's some great pass. The pass is great. And oh, it's a wasted shot. Still a few too many long shots if you ask me. Half our shots have been long shots. Um we have had the better chances. Uh I want to improve in the next second second half. Alright, improve. I'm gonna go attacking. I don't know why, I'm just I'm gonna go attacking. I'm in I'm in an attacking mood today. It's a beautiful day out. The sun is shining. My back is sweating, and I'm I'm, I'm going I'm going to go attacking. Three hundred and sixty-four passes, and only in the first half. And that, that's fairly good. If we can dominate the same in the second half, I'll be quite happy. I'll be quite happy indeed. Um, here we are. And, oh. Oh my no! I've heard a ball in. Pulse, Colette, and I've seen, I've noticed actually in a few games, uh, not a lot of games now, but Colette just makes absolute darting runs up that left side and like cuts inside and he, he does cut a good dangerous ball in. I don't know what that is from Chesney. It could have been dangerous though. Don't know what that was at all from Chesney. I don't want to really go out just two one winners. I want to. I want to go out with a bang. You know, we're after getting six goals in the last two games. You know, Paul Say boosts the ball in. Paul Say again, oh, and it goes wide. <clears throat> May bring Rakitic on. Bring the experience on. Um. About ten minutes, maybe five, ten minutes. Oh, the ball's played wide. Oh, it's a great save by Chesney. Whew. Grillo. Let's say Parati. Grillo. Oh, good, good clearance by Fosu Mensa. Who is originally a? I uh, suppose he can play in three different positions, but he's been playing very well in centre back. And look, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So. I haven't changed him out and he's been getting an awful lot of oh my god, what a save. Um getting an awful lot of plaudits for his performances in that position. So I'm gonna keep him there. And not just that, but it makes if he's playing so well there it means that the best players can play in midfield. Oh no, the ball was just played behind him. Right, it says the table still is the same. Yes we are, we're still seventh. Vlahovic Pulse Nada. Nada. Let's have a look. Pulse is still doing well for fitness. But I don't really Well Ravage takes a shot. Okay now substitutions. Substitution, 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 substitution. 
Um, who we bring on? Who we bring on? Where is Rakatich? Ivan Rakatich. Rakatich, your big beach. And we will bring on. Bring for fan on. Get rid of Matello with that yellow card. Oop, what are we doing? Pausing it. Ah. Valverde. Pasquale. Ball in. Oh, what an absolute cracking goal from Vlahovic. It, it looked like it just bloody hit off him. What a goal. See if we can get a good replay of this. Let's see now. Pasquale. It's it's a lovely cross into him all the same. Oh my god, that is disgusting. Oh my god, this scissor kick into the net. Oh god, what a goal. Oh, that's how to make it my day. Made my day completely. Wait, Flavish two goals, Pascal, I don't want to take either one of those two off. Um, Let's have a look, who can we bring on? Coughlin's looking a bit tired. Storado. I may bring... We bring the youngster on now, Volpi. Bring him in for Giannis Svensson. Give him a few few minutes on the pitch. Um, seventy fifth minute. Yeah, he has has about fifteen minutes to uh, make some sort of an impression. Does he? Does I don't know if there's a possibility of signing at the end of the season. I don't know. I haven't a clue. Free kick by Rakitic is saved. Flete into Coughlin. Rakitic to Valverde. Now it's Vlahovic. No, Vlahovic. Valverde. The Akita. Valverde at the Volpi. What can you do with it? The Akita and Vlahovic going for that hat trick. And I, I don't think there's a need, but we give to McCam concentrate just just to throw it in there. Uh, the fitness not looking the May West. Uh, we only have I, I don't, I don't get that. Twelve substitutes. Why twelve? You only you can still only make three. Now that's just wasting like an awful lot of people's time. The squally and it's saved. It's disappointing knowing that we we can see the goal. We can look at the amount of shots we've had. Twenty five shots. And eleven of them are long shots. Now I suppose maybe in a game like this I don't mind as many long shots. Because we've had an awful lot of shots. But we've had the best of the chances. Well I suppose we really haven't because it's fairly even. They've had two half chances. We've had ooh, um, one half chance. They've had one clear cut chance. We've had two clear cut chances. So, And that's it. It's all over. I wouldn't say even. Definitely not even. We dominated. Absolutely dominated. Now, you have managed to grab a win against Varon. What do you make of the game? It is a great result of us for us. Or for all of us. Please, for the fans. We couldn't have done it without them. Yes, always thank the Z fans. Right, so, player will have a game in hand. That's that's never good. Well, I suppose there's nothing we can really do. But we are still aiming for fourth, and it is possible. Uh, we just can't really lose many more games um, this season. Okay. So we can't lose any more games. But anyway, guys, I will be back in just a moment for the Dnipro game. Right, guys, so we are back. Um, today we are taking on Dnipro. And... Um, I think I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna go with the same squad. I'm gonna go with how we played last game. The phones we had over five hundred passes last game. Unbelievable. Um, 
Yeah, and I think the squad is strong. It's just choosing the bench. I might take one player out, and that is Pasquale. Uh, yeah, Pasquale, yeah, so I thought I got his name wrong there. Um, simply because... Well, you got two assists. I do understand that. But I just I need him to play a little bit better. I need him to start scoring. Assists aren't always everything. I, I know someone has to give somebody the ball. But, um, right, yeah, if that's the squad I'm going to go with. We have Suso, Rakitic, blah, 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 blah. Who do we have here? Yeah, that's Grant. That's Grant. So, into the game we go. Into the game we go. If we win this today, we go on 10 points. I think. 10 points? Yeah. And then... Ajax will still be one behind us. But who are Ajax? Nah, it doesn't matter how they play. Waste of time. Is that the best weather? I don't think it's too bad. Both teams going to good form, yeah. Right, so this is the hard part of playing this. Is that five in midfield? It, Jesus, it's just. They're very hard to break down. Um, yeah, just start where you left off. Set cook. I don't, did I tell you about. Did I? I can't remember now. <laughs> We've got a new assistant manager. Um, Sell Cook San. Uh, we got rid of Mariner, who was getting eight grand a week, and brought this chap in for £850 a week. So, yeah, wins. But I can't remember if I told you or not. Oh, Svensson. Don't be getting any of the yellow cards, me. Or don't be doing any fouls. <coughs> right. Um, we're not going to try to look at the other fixture. We're just going to play our own game. Relax. Take everything in. Just take it all in. 23 minutes in. We've... Maybe 70% possession now. Takes a bit of time to, you know, warm up our, our game. Svensson. Hosey Dikite. Mihov. Oh. Gonna go attacking. I'm in that mood, guys. I'm in the attacking mood. And here's Kalete. Oh. Could have got a first goal of the season. And he would have been celebrating a new contract as well. Cut out by Svensson, Valverde clicks, Palsy, Valverde, Svensson, Palsy, the Akite, oh, and forces save from Van der Hart. That's that's Joe Hart, really, but he's immigrated over to uh, Ukraine because he's been playing so bad. So, Coughlin, uh, oh, Vlahovic, what? How did you miss? I thought he was offside, to be honest. Ten minutes in, six shots already. Pulsey, oh. Oh. So we've had one clear cut chance, they've had one half chance. We've had two long shots. They don't like, I'm not liking that. Not lacking it at all. 20 minutes in, here's our, another highlight. Coughlin, Svensson, Mensa. Parsons, brilliant. Vitelli, Carletta. Diakite, Valverde. Diakite again, Mihov. Oh, just can't convert. So they've had 24 complete passes, right? In 20 minutes. We've had. Oh, there it is! <laughs> John Spencer, what? What the hell? How did he score from there? We've had... They've had 26 pass complete, completed in 21 minutes. We've had 221 in 21 minutes. That's just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous, guys. 
Uh, come on. Here we are now. Tom Lucas, Vlahovic gives it to Svensson. How is it possible for him to score here? He actually... No, I don't know. Was that a goal? Look, we'll, we'll say it was a... Um, we'll say it was a goal. But I don't think it was. The Akita and oh my god, what a goal. Scorcher, we knew he had a great right foot. And that's two goals and two goals for the Akita. So I'm going to change things up and it, it seems to be the right thing. Here's Cochrane, lovely ball to the Akita. And boom, first time in off the post. Keeper hasn't a clue. Hasn't a clue. It's 2 0. We're starting to convert more of the shots now, even though that was countable as a long shot. Um. We scored it. So that's the main thing. Now, if you could hear it like screaming or shouting or something like that in the background, yeah, you see, I have my window open because it's absolutely sweating. And I think there's, I don't know, kids out in the road or something like that. I don't know. Valverde in. Oh, it goes out for another corner. <coughs> Excuse me. Valverde in again. And it goes out for a throw in. I want. I'm gonna have a quick look at the table. Obviously, we sit at the top, and um, I'm confused. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I didn't see the goal. Shit! Crap! Crap! Cut up! Cut up! Cut up. A lovely ball in, and Vlahovic just well, that like just teleport through Van der Hart. It looked like it just teleported right through him. Oh, and Valverde trying his look at a free kick, but no look this time. Um, it looks like Ajax are drawn against Leicester. If we, I think they were obviously they're playing Leicester. I'm playing bloody the Nipro. Do oh, smart me smart. But um, yeah. So we've pulled three points ahead. Okay, we still it doesn't mean anything, but um, it doesn't. We won't get. We might get qualification from it actually, because we've only two games left. One against Ajax, one against Leicester. That's six points, and if things stay the way they are, <gasps> against the against Leicester and Ajax, well then we'll qualify. But it, then it'll only be a case of can we get first or second. So we have Coughlin, Pulse, Valverde, Svensson, Valverde again, back to Svensson, back to Valverde. Coughlin, Mihal, and he loses it. So yeah, um, as things stand, we've definitely qualified. And uh, yeah, congratulations everybody so far. Congratulations, proud of y'all. Colette, the Akita, Batele, back to Colette. I really want to call him Nutella. I don't know why. I just, I just want to call him Nutella. And oh, how did they miss that? I think Vlavic was there, uh, putting in claims for a penalty. There, it looked like he was. He was just staying on the ground. I think. And there's another wasteful shot. There's a eight shot, uh, long shot. I don't want long shot lads. I don't want long shots. At all, so stop bloody taking them. Right, we are now into the 58th minute, and I'm gonna make a change. Valverde is gonna come off, and um, Ivan Arakotic is gonna come on. And I think it's safe to say that the game's over, really. And look, we have a league game in, in two days or so, and I think it's best if we try to get a few players off the pitch, get them rested, and uh, be prepared for that game. Since Torino, I don't, I don't know where Torino rank now. I think they they are in that relegation zone. But um, we're just gonna give it a bit, give it our best. That's all we can do. It's not just the longest we've gone without a highly. And oh, and it was days and um. They didn't convert it. Now Svensson again. Pulte, Diakite, Vlahovic, and what was 
that me have my have me have me have I don't know but whoa crap that was brutal I still think he can be a good player but right now when it comes to strikers Dusan is the best but we need to start getting better in uh, right we're gonna bring in Suso no I'm gonna bring in Suso, I don't want to move the whole bloody thing. And Swayze, let me see now. Sturaro. Stefano Sturaro. We bring him in for Cochrane. And that's that. That is that. That's all the substitution in this, in this, in this mate. Substitution in this, in this. So, this looks to be still no score. Uh, against Ajax and Leicester, and there's only 15 minutes left. I'll I'll take the draw because it means we only have to win one of our next two games. Ideally, we want to win the boat just to finish with top points. Well, not top points, but to finish first in the group. But uh, so if, I think our next next game is against Leicester. That one will be live we will be uh that you guys will see that one. Oh crap just realized what mistake i've made yeah this one boy is suso on for uh vlahovic <laughs> i did not mean to do that at all i meant to bring him on for paul say but oh no they scored a goal the dicks dicks uh. You're not allowed to score goals. Fuck off with your holy shit. You've lost the game. Right. 90th minute. One minute left. That's it. It's it. It's over. Lads, it's over. See? It is over. Sayonara, Baz. The Nipro crash out. They crashed out. Well, well they could have actually... Um... They probably could have came back for a second, I think, if they had won today. So they had one point, so that would have put them on four if they beat us. And then if they beat they won the next two, it's seven. And yeah, they would have been able to grab second, all, the, all depending on the results, of course. So, let's see. In two games, we have Leicester. I'm not going to come back for that one, simply because, well, it's only two games away. But with the game, I will come back for two big games. We will come back for Ajax and Internationale, if I've said that right. Because we currently, league. obviously things may change if we win our next games in the league. But with three games to play in the league, sorry, four games to play in the league, and two Europa League games to play, so... What we'll do is come back for Ajax and Inter Milan. And we will leave it at there for today, guys. Thank you very much for joining in. Of course, leave a like rating on the video if you've liked it. Uh, subscribe if you if you want more of this good shit, you know what I mean? You won't get this anywhere else. Comment down below. And, of course, follow me over on Twitter at TheNearGamer. So, thanks very much, guys. And adios.